from Minneapolis. Wow. <laughs> I'm Kendall Winter, and I'm from Arkansas originally, but I've been in Olympia, Washington for over a decade now. And we met at a bluegrass festival in 09 in Minnesota, and both of us played banjo and bluegrass bands. And I told him that I liked his melodic style, and he liked that I knew what a melodic style was. <laughs> And then three years later, he gave me a call and asked me what I thought about starting a double banjo project. And I, I thought, you must be crazy. Like it's a, you know, it's hard enough out here for banjo players. For one banjo player, like no one's gonna let us in their, <laughs> in their building, in their venue with two banjos. And so um, he convinced me though. And so we've been trying to figure out how to do it together. And this is one of the first songs so we put together. It's an old time tune. Say, little darling, won't you marry me down in the hollow neath the old oak tree? Say, darling, say, down in the hollow will make us a home. Nevermore, this world to roam. Say, darling, say, down in the hollow neath the old oak tree, baby's bouncing on daddy's knee. Say, darling, say. Starch and iron, say darn, say Starch and iron would be a trade Not get drunk and lay in the shade Say darn, say
Say, little darling, won't you marry me down in the holler neat the old oak tree? Say, darling, say, say, little darling, won't you marry me down in the holler neat the old oak tree? Say, darling, say, say, darling, say, yeah, say, darling. He's playing three finger style, which is um, what bluegrass has comes out of. But I wouldn't say you're playing, especially like bluegrass. There, you're probably playing a little more. Yeah, there's a, I, I use a couple of rolls, roll patterns in there, which is like a bluegrass sort of thing. A lot of what I'm doing, especially while I'm singing, is uh, uh, some called two fingering, which is uh, also like an old timey style, um, maybe even older than uh, plow hammerings. Which two fingering means just thumb and pointer. Just using these two so outside back fingers and, and hitting some melody notes in there and also just sort of like arpeggiating the chord that way. Um, but it just kind of keeps the sound simpler, especially when you have two banjos going at the same time. You know, sometimes it can be a little much if there's too much going on. And then I'm playing claw hammer, or you've also heard that called frailing. And I'm playing it on a resonating banjo, which is a little unusual. Um, but right now it's because we live in a car. <laughs> so I don't have room for my other banjos. Yeah. <laughs> and that has kind of um, become our sound. So we weren't sure where people were at in the banjo world and what they were interested in. So we figured we'd just kind of maybe start the workshop with questions and answers and get a feel of what people are interested in learning. 